everybody, Tim from Black Swamp Percussion here, and welcome to this deep dive video about the intricacies of tuning snare units and developing your sound with the multisonic snare system. The multisonic strainer was launched in 2002, building off the concept and functionality of our original sound art snare system. So what sets the multisonic apart? Each snare unit has a contrasting timbre and responds best at contrasting dynamic levels. By being able to adjust the individual tension of each snare unit, you have full control over its response and sensitivity. You can learn more about the multisonic snare system by watching this video. So before we jump into fine tuning, every quality snare drum sound starts with tuning the heads. Uh, all Black Swamp snare drums are inspected and tuned prior to leaving our facility. So think of snare drums like little mini timpani. You want to make sure both the top and bottom head are cleared. That means all the tension rods are evenly tensioned. So this drum has a very loose head on it right now. And uh, basically after you finger tighten the tension rods, you're going to want to go through and tighten with two drum keys in a star-shaped pattern to bring the pitch up. So let's talk top head and bottom head. Every drum is different depending on shell type, uh, size. Um, we don't necessarily tune to a specific pitch here in the shop. What I do look for is the bottom head is going to be a higher pitch. Uh, that gives you ultimately a fuller, rounder, kind of purer tone. Um, sometimes I like to think of it as like really resonating in my chest when, when I'm playing the drum. It's a real full, broad sound. So I'm going to bring the bottom head pitch up just a little bit. So that sounds really good. So once you get the sound that you want with the snares off, you can begin to address the snare units. Special note, seating the bottom head of an orchestral snare drum is very important. Uh, you can learn more about seating heads in this video right above. Uh, so on the multisonic strainer, again, we have five separate snare units. And going left to right, we have an eight strand blue, a six strand stainless, a five strand guitar wire, an eight strand stainless, and a six strand gold. So again, these these snare units are different cable types, they're different thicknesses, they respond at different dynamics. And we have this, the guitar wire unit running right down the center. Uh, that's the most sensitive cable type. And then moving outwards, the stainless units uh, give you a little bit more volume. And then the uh, coated cable units are responding at the highest dynamic level. So when I start tuning, I usually start at one extreme or the other. Uh, normally the lower volume. So I turn all the snare units off and I'm going to engage the center guitar wire unit first. So I push in uh, that engagement button and turn the strainer on. So this snare is going to sound really loose. It's very fuzzy, uh, it's not very bright, um, doesn't have a lot of articulation. So I'm, I'm starting from that, that uh, lower tension and I'm just going to tap the drum and increase the tension until I get a sound that's really crisp and clear at this softer to dynamic. Okay, I'm playing softly. I'm not going to play loud right now because that snare unit responds at a softer dynamic. And I get a sound that's, that's articulate, bright, and really kind of comes to life. So that sounds really good to me. I'm going to turn that snare unit off and engage uh, the six strand stainless, which is just to the left. Uh, similar thing. I'm going to play the drum, kind of tap it at a medium dynamic because that's how the, that snare unit responds best. And again, it's kind of lifeless. It's a little fuzzy. Um, uh, it's a little, little kind of too open. We need to dial in that sound. So I'm going to tap the drum. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, it has a little bit more life to it. Okay, I just increase the tension a couple turns. And, and that snare unit comes alive. So now I'm gonna turn that off and dial in or punch in the eight strand stainless. We're just kind of working our way up through the, the dynamic spectrum here. So right now that eight strand stainless is only engaged. 
again, kind of a medium, medium dynamic and kind of fuzzy. So that's a little bit too far. I went, I went too far uh, with the tension and now it sounds choked. It sounds too tight. So I'm just going to back it off a little bit. There we go. A nice, nice bit of life to it and some presence. So I'm going to test that a little bit more. And then from here, I, I'm going to regroup a little bit. Okay. I'm going to turn on all three of these snare units. So we have the center three snares engaged and I'm going to play them all together. See how they kind of uh, work as a group. Right, we have some nice definition and clarity at the softer end. But as we start to play louder, we lose some of that definition, some of that clarity, because only these specific snare units are engaged. So let's address the coated cable units, which are going to give you more of that volume and body. So again, I'm, I'm just working up the dynamic here and punching in the eight blue, which is on the far left, and see how that sounds. Yep, it's kind of hollow, dull, lifeless, so I'm going to tweak it a little bit. And start to play louder, because that's the volume where that snare unit kind of responds best. Uh, another special note, because the blue and gold cable respond best at louder dynamics, you can actually tension those a little bit tighter than the stainless and wire units, so in general, you have some snare units that are tension tighter and looser depending on how they best respond dynamically. So, turn my stick around. That sounds good, only the eight blue. And last snare unit is the six gold on the far right. Yep, uh, pretty fuzzy, not a lot of clarity, uh, not a lot of body, so I'm gonna dial it in. There it is, a lot of life. The blue and the gold cable kind of respond most like traditional gut snares, so you're getting a lot of kind of girth, a lot of throat to it. So I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the other snare units. I'm gonna have the blue and gold on only. And see how those kind of work together and sound good together. So now you can start to experiment and discover which combinations uh, might work best for you in whatever musical application you're working in. Uh, special note, we uh, strongly encourage or suggest combinations of two or three snare units on at a time. Uh, really anything more than that, you're gonna start to choke the sound of the drum. It's literally just too much cable if you're using four, uh, certainly not all five snare units on at a time. It's gonna kill the sound of the drum. Again, the whole point of the system is that you start to combine these different snare units uh, and not engage them simultaneously. So I kind of talked through two uh, of our, what we consider like main configurations. That was the, the stainless and wire unit, basically all three units in the center. It gives you a really sort of um, delicate, uh, crisp sound, best at playing softer dynamics. And then we went over the, the uh, gold and blue unit together. That gives you a lot of girth, a complete contrast. So here is basically a combination of wire and cable. I'm gonna engage the uh, blue unit, uh, the five guitar wire unit, and the eight strand stainless. So this is a really general purpose setting. You're getting the blue uh, at the higher dynamics. It's gonna respond at higher dynamics. The stainless respond better at medium dynamics and the guitar wire unit responds best at softer dynamics. And then you get a nice kind of timbre uh, spectrum from each of these snare units. So we do have a video online, which you can check out right here which covers uh, four or five of our main configurations. So hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how the multisonic snare system works, operates, how to fine tune these snares to really dial in the tension, get the best response uh, and sensitivity, and basically options for what hall you're playing in, what piece you're playing, who you're playing for, what your personal preference is. 
So again, thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon.